Hello everyone, this is Anayat Mir with my new video. This video is about AWS multi-factor authentication. So you have to log into your account. Uh, I would suggest that do not use your root account, but if you have a regular admin account, you can log in. But for this purpose, I am going to log in as a root account uh, because this is uh, something which is very important. You have to do through IAM. Uh, from your AWS console for your users. So first you have to go to services. You look for IAM Identity and access management and you look at your users. I have three users So click on users. You will see a list of users uh, I am going to use test user one for MFA for multi-factor authentication because uh, I did not set any user so far. So click on the user, go under your security credentials. So that is where you also can change your password for your user. So for now we are going to manage a virtual MFA device option. Read the options and then you have to continue to your QR code. So let's go back to my mobile phone. This is my iPhone different five steps I mentioned here very first thing you have to go to your uh, App Store Look for authenticator app. So I searched for a Google authenticator uh, Number one shows you you find the Google authenticator or authenticator app install on your iPhone. I have iPhone 11. So I used my iPhone 11. So first you add your Google Authenticator app. Number two, you will see the icon on your mobile device. So as I mentioned in number two, number three, once you show the QR code to your device, you will be able to see those two numbers first and second. This is your uh, a QR code which you show to your phone once you have this QR Visible then you will see first time your MFA code one once you enter the code one then you will see MFA code two So you have to scan this code by pointing your mobile phone camera To this QR code as I mentioned earlier here now. I am adding my first code my first QR code now first I showed you the color is blue then it turns into red uh, 10 seconds before it changes to a second code now i got my second code i'm entering my second code now you can click on assign mfa now you have successfully assigned a virtual mfa now you can close this so you have successfully assigned multi-factor authenticator or authentication for your user make sure your user has a mobile phone and a valid working uh, number on the mobile phone now i'm going back to my iam here i'm looking at my user and i'm showing you here you can change the password of that user so i'm going to change the password because i uh, have created this user while ago so I do not remember the password so I am going to reset because I want to show you the login of this account so currently I am logged in with my own ID which has full credentials so I will basically copy my uh, ARN Amazon resource uh, name and that name basically will be used to log in so now i am logged off going to log in back with the provided uh, url on the top you will see my account id this is uh, account id for every user under uh, basically my uh, subscription but you will have a username and password now i am entering my username test user one i'm entering my password now the time comes to use your mobile phone you will get basically a code on your 
Google Authenticator. So you have to open up your mobile device, look at Authenticator, click on it, read the code what you get. Now I just got it. I am now putting that as requested. I am in. So here you saw the process. So how you can use multi-factor authentication. I have just used for this user. So this is a very straightforward simple process that you can achieve through your AWS console. But you have to have credentials. Thank you for watching. Bye.